This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I hope you guys are all having a great day and stay positive and know that you're amazing today. You're worth it and that anything is possible. Let's get right into this. We're going to bring back a little throwback today. Uh, a few years ago, I did an interview with Turk from Cash Money and he, as you know, he went to jail in the early 2000s and he has a crazy story of how that happened. This no-knock warrant that we've seen with Brianna, and they just come in, and you don't know what's happening. You think that maybe someone's trying to break into your house. There's no, they, and that's that's wrong because I I guess it could work in certain situations, but you know only if you're coming down on like a cartel or something. I mean, come on, we're talking about regular people here that maybe oh they did something wrong. You should still knock and let it be known who is at your door because in Turk's situation, he thought he was having a home invasion and defended his house as he should, right? But it turned out it was the cops. So I just wanted to bring this back because I don't, certain things just aren't done right. You gotta use common sense as a, you know, I'm not saying like all cops aren't bad, but there are bad ones and they, they take advantage of their power. So that's what these protests are about. They're about change. They're about changing how things are done. Getting rid of the bad ones because there's no room for bad police. It's bad for the good police because it makes them all look bad, you know? And now we're at where we're at, you know? So I just wanted to bring this back. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys and I want you guys to stay safe let's bring this back turk tells an amazing story and i'm you know even though we've had our differences in the past me and turk um i'm so glad that he made it through that situation he was able to come back to his family and have a beautiful family you know i just wanted to say that i appreciate you guys and here it is to this point okay so you're you you're with Koch, right you're releasing an, an album right on Koch. yeah yeah. Um, and now you get into trouble with the cops, right? Like the cops come and rush your house. I remember you yeah. painting this picture where, I mean, it sounds crazy. I'm glad you survived this, bro, because a lot of people don't survive uh, confrontations yeah. with the cops nowadays. But the SWAT team came to your house? Yeah, it was actually the actual SWAT team. <sighs> and I'm thankful. I'm thankful to be alive. Because even after the aftermath of two police officers getting shot, they still could have killed me. Yeah, yeah. And um, by the grace of God, I didn't die, man. I actually, I documented, I did a trailer. If you go to um my my YouTube, Hot Boy Turk 32, okay. I have a trailer showing the closet where I was at. Okay. You know, and I never did know it was the police officer. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm telling my side of the story in my yeah. documentary. You know, and... um. For a person to want to kill a police officer, that's crazy. They 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 crazy. Yeah. For real. You know that's 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 a dead wish. That's a you ready to die, man. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But I was actually in my house minding my business with my boxers on, with my my wife who I'm with today. She was my girlfriend. Oh back wow. Then. Yeah. You know. She um, held it down, you know, guys. She held it yeah, down. Yeah. And one of my homeboys, you know what I'm saying, and um, we 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 just heard a heard noise and commotion. So instantly, you know. I'm a street nigga, you know what I'm saying? I instantly, man, I go for what, what I know. You know what I'm talking about, man? Yeah. We about to be being robbed. So yeah. she go for cover. I, I went for cover. And, um, you know, shit, I see black masks and ski masks. One thing led to another. Two police officers wind up being shot. Oh, man. But they painted a picture as if I tried to kill police officers because I was on the run from New Orleans. I wow. was on the run from New Orleans from probation. But okay. that's not no reason to want to kill no police. So they right, put yeah. it was coincident that I happened to be wanted in New Orleans yeah. for them to paint that picture like this. The reason why he attacked my officers, but uh, it wasn't there. Okay, you know what I'm saying um, the crazy part is, man. Like when I went, when I got, when I, when, when they was beating me, mm -hmm. they were like, I wish Tupac was here to see you. Like damn, so all the while crazy. they knew I was a rapper. They knew. Yeah. Oh, they had a leak. Cause somebody had to lie to them and told them that I had two kilos of heroin and AK-47. They need to hurry up, which mm. I didn't. I was a oh. drug addict. Do you know I who did that? Do you know who's heroin in the house? Shit, I would have been overdosed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But prior to this though, like 
a couple of days before, and it might sound strange, but I'm a spiritual person. I believe in Jesus, man. Yeah. You know? And um, I had OD, and my girl was there. She wound up giving me a bag of ice to revive myself. I was in her bathroom. Yeah. And I wound mm. up putting the ice on my nuts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I wound up coming back. You know. Yeah. So the next day, she was at work. She used to work at the Civil Rights Museum when Martin Luther King was assassinated. Okay. Um, so I did it again. And nobody wasn't there to give me the ice. So now I'm in the house by myself. I got to get up. I'm walking dead. I'm literally dying from this overdose. I yeah. just shot some raw hair on, no cut mm. on it. Mm. And um, after I had been prayed and told God I wasn't going to do it no more, let me live through the first one. The next day I did it again. So bam, I, I wind up having to go shoot some salt and shit with that one and revive yeah. myself. Vinegar, salt, ice. I had to get do everything to get yeah. myself up. So later on that night, I prayed. Me and my girl got on our knees. She prayed with me, man. And I was like, the only way I'm going to stop getting high, I'm talking to God. Yeah. The only way I'm going to stop if it's life-threatening. Yeah. So I wasn't meaning that the damn SWAT team come to the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But three days later, the SWAT team came to my house. And they literally shot 52 times. And the reason why I know it was 52 times, because of the entrance and exit holes that they counted in my trial. Wow. It was 52. You know, so that's where the whole concept comes 52 bullets like that. And yeah. the closet where I was at, ain't no way I'm supposed to be alive if it wasn't God. Yeah. Stopping the bullet. They shoot 12 gauges, MP3s, Glock 40s, and 223s. <sighs> and I'm just the SWAT team. Yeah. And I'm alive, you know what I'm saying? So. Thank God. God allowed that to happen. Yeah. Now I'm in prison <clears throat> for something I ain't do. I'm bitter. Yeah. Because I didn't try to sh kill no police. Right. They know that. But they got me all. I'm a rapper trying to kill police officers. I'm wanted in New Orleans painting this picture. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? All the while is a lie. But I had to really like sit back and accept it because I know it was God yeah. doing it, not man. You know what I'm saying? So it took me eight years, eight months, 16 days. And mm -hmm. When my girl came see me, man, she was like, I ain't going nowhere. I'm like, man, you crazy. She was, shit, 21 years old. And my girl is not no booger bag. Yeah. She bad, you mm -hmm. know. And, man, she stood down on me, ain't miss a visitation, was there. I was wow. fucking up in jail. She still was there, you know. <laughs> so, like, I was how a nigga on the street is to they girl. You know how niggas mess up. We fuck yeah. up. Yeah. I was doing that with my girl in jail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was Turk, shit. I ain't give a damn. But her love... And that was like an angel to me. God put her in my life. So a lot of people don't understand why I go so hard, why I talk about her a lot. Because yeah. when I was in my situation, she was there when I was down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got a special yeah. one, dog. You got a special, special. one. I understand. Special, you got to hold on to a good girl out there, guys. When you find we one, married. they're so we hard married. to find. We married with twins, man. Her first kids <laughs> oh, was awesome. a girl and both a twin. Wow. Wow. So we Congratulations, bro. Congratulations. You know, it's crazy because yeah. after... After that, my wife wound up being diagnosed with breast cancer. Oh, so now man. I'm Shoot home. That. Shit, we got twins. We married. My daddy get killed. Then I find out she got breast cancer. So oh, it's enough man. to try to drop and go back and get yeah. high. But I'm strong yeah. now. Yeah. All this is a part of my, my testimony. Keep on yeah. going. Yeah. 